Hi, welcome back to our Wirecast tutorials. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to add a video or an MP4 file to Wirecast to play. Wirecast actually has the option to play uh, MP4 and video files, which is pretty cool because in previous versions like Wirecast 4, you couldn't do that. So um, in this version or in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to do that, how to upload videos to Wirecast. Now, like I said in my previous video about pictures, I normally like to use layer 3 for pictures, solid colors, um, and videos just to make it cleaner and make it look nicer. Uh, but you can choose layer 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, doesn't matter. But for now, we're going to be using layer 3. I'm going to click on it, and it's going to be the same, um, same area, media files. We're going to double click on browse disk and it's going to open up our file library. I've already got the file library set up and I'm going to be using for this one Ambient Inspirational Music 1. So we're going to click on that one and we're going to click on play and it'll automatically start playing. It'll play any audio as well that you have on the video. I believe for this one it's just like a soft instrumental song that we can see here on the left starting to pick up just a little bit. Um, this basically automatically adds it to Wirecast and you've got like a little play button, pause button. You can also click and advance a little more. It's just a solid picture though but you see that it's playing and then we're just going to simulate the end of it just going to give it a couple seconds to finish playing and it'll automatically fade out and it starts over again so it's basically a nice little loop so if, let's say technically if you were able to make like a maybe a 24 hour mp4 file you could have a whole day of programming just looping which is great you can put a couple programs in a couple music videos maybe and you would have a whole day of programming pretty much all set but also like I mentioned in my last video as well the left block is the preview block now on the right side is what the live button is so if you want to make sure this is going live you just click on the little button right here little left or the right pointing right click on it and it'll automatically start playing and I can start hearing it from my headphones so that's basically what's going live sorry I had to mute it because it started playing and I couldn't really hear myself thinking for a second but basically that's what's going live right now that video and all that right now I paused it but um, basically it's the same easy steps as a picture you click on the plus button you click on media files double click browse disk you click on whatever video you're gonna add for now I'm gonna add an ambient uh, inspirational music 2 we're gonna click play on it and it automatically starts with a little slideshow and um, the left side is the preview right side is pretty much what goes live we can just click on the right arrow and it'll throw it live so um, and this also has the options like the previous uh, picture one we can scale it to fit we can add um, audio to it we can lower the volume and pretty much raise it chroma key um, you can make it a little fade in fade out and we can change the oh and actually when when finished we can either loop it hold it or remove it. excuse me um, I would normally just keep it on loop it's a great way just to pretty much um, keep videos playing and have Wirecast never stop streaming and we can change the name over here and the first one uh, I believe it's just for the queue but um, any other questions or concerns you guys have or comments or video requests you can also leave in the comments below and um, I'm happy to talk to the team see if we can make a video to help you guys out thank you so much for watching and have a great day